Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. This is part one of a three part video. We'll review a nonlinear solution from the tutorials. It has rubber material, large displacement, large deformation, and contact. We'll briefly show how it is set up and discuss what the solver has to do and look at some results. You can look in the online help tutorials under the nonlinear section to find this particular model. A rubber sealing ring fits into a steel channel, and a steel closure plate is assembled on top, squeezing down on the rubber sealing ring. There is rotational symmetry, so we can carve out a 1 degree pi section, such as shown here. We have also removed most of the closure plate because we're interested in the deformation of the rubber seal. So we end up with a 1 degree section that looks like this. Again, the nonlinearities are large displacement through rigid body movement of the upper plate, large deformation of material, namely the rubber, and contact. There is no friction. Here we set up a controlled displacement instead of a force. We know the gap distance, so we used an advanced fixture to cause the software to move the bottom surface of the closure plate down by 56 thousandths to contact the steel channel. We're using a linear ramp, so I will show that. The graph shows the integration period is one second. This integration time is the default and represents pseudo time for a static analysis. The solver will take a step along this curve to gradually move the plate downward and eventually to the full displacement value at one second. Now here are the contacts. The contact type is set to no penetration. The blue colored selection are the outer surfaces of the rubber sealing ring and the purple colored surfaces are the inside of the steel channel and the underside of the closure plate. Here's the material dialog for the rubber seal. We're using the hyperelastic material mathematical model called Mooney Rivlin. It requires appropriate constants which you can obtain from testing laboratories or there are some sample constants you can find online for typical rubbers. This mathematical model allows the material to stretch, compress, and strain a great deal. The software causes it to behave in a nonlinear fashion automatically. Notice the Poisson's ratio is near 0.5 to simulate the incompressible behavior of rubber. Please go on to part two for the fixtures, mesh, and solution algorithm.